most students the moment they see a physics problem the first thing that they start doing is to search for which formula to apply so it becomes a formula search that's not the best way to learn physics or to do physics so let us look at this uh, question so you have two balls a and b that are thrown horizontally with speeds 5 meter per second and 7 meter per second now the first thing that you should do when you read the question is to draw a diagram so they are thrown with 5 meters per second 7 meters per second in the same direction let's say from here 5 meters per second 7 meters per second so this fellow this is a that is b now the distance between the points that they hit the ground at is 6 meters so b goes and hits the ground there right this is the place where b hits the ground and this is the place where a hits the ground and what is given the question that says that question the information that is given is that this is 6 meters once you draw the diagram you understand very clearly what is the information given it is not that this is 6 it's not that is 6 it is the gap between the two that is 6 meters and what is the question find the distance a strikes the ground from the base the point where a strikes the ground from the base basically we want to find out what this distance is let's call that x so question is find x so now once you have drawn the diagram understood what the problem is then you start thinking about what is the best concept to use you can look for formulas from projectile motion but that's not the best way to go about this instead if you focus on the key idea that is there in projectile motion when you throw objects horizontally what is the single most important idea in projectile motion the time of fall for this ball and the time of fall for that ball is the same though they have different horizontal velocities the time that they take to fall is exactly the same now once you remember that or know that then you know that this distance must be 5 meters per second into t phi t meters and then from here to there the distance must be 7 meters per second into t seconds 7 t so this is 7 into t this is 5 into t therefore this must be how much 2 into t so 2 t must be equal to 6 meters so if 2 t is 6 meters t must be equal to 3 seconds so you know t is 3 seconds once you know t is 3 seconds 5 into 3 is 15 and so you know that x is 15 meters you see solving the problem is extremely quick within 30 seconds you can finish the problem if you got to know what the key concept behind the idea is and once you apply the concept the solution becomes quite easy so two steps first understand the problem thoroughly draw it visualize the situation then look at the key concepts don't just look for formulae and when you're preparing for competitive exams like NEET or IIT time is of real big essence and you're not going to learn it just by looking at a lot of lectures or attending a lot of classes what is going to really work is when you work through problems you need to actually solve a lot of problems understanding concepts through the problems you can't understand concepts separately in physics and then later apply it to problems as you are solving problems you'll understand concepts much much better so always learn by doing problems mm -hmm.